lot of different variables. So, once you get to the end, though, it shouldn't be that hard. It's just the, the early game. The early game. That's not Bobby. That is a straight up not Bobby, actually. So, it makes sense. It does make sense. God, sushi, though, sounds good. I'm wondering, though, if Buyo Buyo is the ring it up. I want to do one run with Buyo Buyo on just so I can uh, still have it, you know? You can use the PS1 mouse, but we don't. There's no no need to. Hmm. Let's go. Hmm. All right. He's not friendly. He's trying to kill you. Only ones that are released in Japan. I mean, this game was released in North America. Really? There's not that many. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Ah, uh, Twilight Syndrome. Twilight Syndrome. There you go. That would be your other one. Twilight Syndrome. That's all I can give you from then on. There's also Hungry Ghost, so that's PlayStation 2. So. Twilight Syndrome would be the best bet, though. However, it also depends. Can you read Japanese? Like, this game, I at least had... I played the English version, so that's why I know about this one. Also, see, he's not bouncing. However... Once we are able to move, you know what happens? Watch. Something amazing happens once we're able to move again. He starts bouncing. He's bouncing on in onto the scene. No, there's no version where the Scissor Man is friendly. No, Bates is fine. Bates is like a, your sibling, actually. So they're more like your brother. Wait, what? Oh, uh, it's fine. This is ruined? Why? The bouncing? Or something else? The bouncing's funnier, Cam. That's the sole reason. It makes me laugh. It's funny. No. Well, Twilight Syndrome is supposed to be really interesting, but I never got the chance to play it. That was the sole reason. How's it going, Christopher Hart? Hope you're doing good. Yep. I want to submit this to GEQ for Silly Block, and I'm thinking having bouncing could make good sense. Nice bounces. Nice and funny. I already did the Jennifer side, but I still need to do the other side. Just Kristoff? Makes sense. Sounds good, Kristoff. Sounds good. Yeah, the bouncing, though, it's fun stuff. I figured I'd try a few things, though, while I'm doing the Helen route. At least I know what the worst thing is. I definitely know the worst thing within uh, this part is. All right, he's running. That's good. That's really good. Okay, good. Also, I'm playing in Japanese for two reasons. One, the text scrolls by faster. Uh, he's walking. That's fine. Two, well, buyo buyo. Three, something called fast disk speed. Fast disk speed saves you a lot of time. Yeah, that works. So fast disk speed makes the loads very, very quick in comparison to regular loads. Which is nice. You know, loading faster means the game is better and all that. How did I get turned away? Wait, did you get away from Bobby? It's not Bobby. This In this game, it's uh, two other people, actually. It's either Dan or someone else. It's Bobby's brother. Bobby died. Bobby is definitely dead. It is Dan Barros. Oh, there you go. You know? Well, boo. Everyone keeps calling him Bobby. Also, we're not, this is where the Scissor Man comes from. It's really weird. And yeah, silent. Buyo, buyo mode. Bouncy. It's essentially Japanese onomatopoeia, which means like boing boing or something to that equivalent. So it's fun. 
Nice and bouncy. Dude, there's been a lot of me bopping links today. Thank you, Nightbots. Very cool. So, it's been good. It's not bad. No, Buyo Buyo is just bouncing. No, it's Dan. Or the Scissor Man. And damn, Fox Arrow. How many clock towers are there? there are, there's one. We don't even see it. Let's give us one clock tower and we don't see it. You can see the clock tower. It just You don't need to. <laughs> because it's the other route. That's slower. Oh, games? Oh. Four? Officially four? Unofficially, like, six? However, there's a lot of games that become influenced from Clock Tower and kind of spiritual successors. So it's weird. Bouncing. Although I don't think Clock Tower is the best game for me on GDQ. I think this one has a chance, but I think the best game I'm going to have is probably going to be maybe Dead Rising. Or Spookies. And it's the 90s, too. The camera footage cost a lot more back then. They're using Kodak film, dude. Kodak film. You know what it's like to use Kodak film on pictures? It's wild. He's a journalist. He's like Frank West, except bouncing. Can you imagine being Frank West, but bouncing? Hey, we'll see. I'm hoping. I'm definitely hoping. There's no guarantees, though. No guarantees. Yep. I only know about Twilight Syndrome, oddly enough. One, because of Punchy, and then I didn't know it, uh, what the game was called. And then I found out the game was called Twilight Syndrome when I looked in the clock tower, like, manual. And then there was, like, an advertisement for a game called Twilight Syndrome. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I know that game. Punchy played it. I forgot the name. So it all works out. But yeah, this is the 90s though, man. Kodaks are everywhere. Kodak film, man. Kodak film. Also, remember when I said I was not play more than one game today and I decided, hey, let's just play fucking Clock Tower. <laughs> Great stuff, man. Great stuff. That's the way it goes. Their entire body bounces because of the need to bounce. It is a need from these people that they must bounce. I don't know that one. Exactly. They stop bouncing, they die. They immediately die. It's sad stuff. Hey, tomorrow I've got to figure out what I want to do. I'm pretty sure tomorrow I might just take off. Maybe put SCP on Wednesday. Make SCP the Wednesday stream for this week. Should be good stuff. At least that one Pokemon. Is there a Pokemon that will die if it stops bouncing? Because that's kind of sad. It's really depressing. Can you imagine if you would, if you died if you just stopped bouncing? Imagine having to get dressed all bouncing. Well, your clothes are also bouncing, so it's okay. Splank? Wow, that's depressing. They're basically the Pokemon Splank. Yeah, this is gonna be my solo game submission. Because it's all bouncing. It's adorable. It's fun stuff. Also, the way they climb ladders is great. And as well, there's a bid war, so I can do Jennifer and Helen. I got the Jennifer war run down. I already got top two. So it's just a matter of me getting a good Helen run. I got one, but I want to have a little bit better than the one I have right now. Like, if I have the one I have, that's okay, but, like, I ended up ruining the route in the finale. So, uh, I want to make sure that I don't do that. But, yeah, I have one more submission that I need to figure out, but right now, on my end, Maxi, I got Dead Rising, uh, Sanhul 2, Clock Tower, and then Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Which I guess also doubles for silly, but I also think that speedruns is genuinely really good. So, I'm kind of hoping that maybe I'll have a better chance. But I need one more game that I don't know will be. It's like the movie, you mean the bus that couldn't slow down? 
the classic film. Hopefully you have some good games on deck on your end. Hopefully you get some good stuff. Let's see if the games on quick site has updated their submissions. To be determined, Dan. Parasite Eve? I'm not submitting Parasite Eve to GDQ. I have no reason to. Yeah, more details to come soon, TM. That's what it says. Apparently Flame Fatals is also a to be determined. That's kind of weird. Just the way and figure that out. But yeah, I'm not going to submit Parasite Eve because there's already going to be a runner for that. Or already a submitter for that, I should say. Like, Palmer submits that, and the new like there's the newer world record holder who's been getting that, who's been submitting that. So I, I'm not going to submit Parasite Eve because someone who can literally do the game entirely blindfolded and probably get a better time than my normal time is submitting that. So I, I'm okay not running Parasite Eve in an event. Like, I, I will live, you know? I'll, I'll be okay with that. I prefer to do games I'm at least mildly competitive on. At least that's my logic. And also, I don't even know when they're actually going to be opening submissions. That's actually the weirder part. Normally, they open them around March. It's all the fence out Fear 2. Do you have another game that would occupy the slot? That's a better question. Anyway, hold on. Outside of Fear 2, what do you got? What do you got? Do you have four or five games? Yes? Okay, then. That would make more sense, then. Come on. Eh. Let me see more RE. RE gets two. RE, like, no, RE gets two. Let RE have their two. They don't need, like, five. Although, Cam, if you want more RE games, I'll be hosting a Resident Evil hotfix. Why are the bodies doing that? Exclamation mark, Buyo. There we go. Also, this is how I want to fall asleep. This is what I want to do when I go to bed. Just fall into my mattress. Oh, my day, March 13th. But yeah, like, like, Resident Evil normally gets like two games. Like one or two games. They could have their two. Other horror games need to shine, man. Also, the Resident Evil this time, um, my guess is probably seven and something else. Maybe two make. Bounce? You know, I guess that makes sense. Uh, Return of the King, no, I'm already saying another friend. Bits, I'm not sure which game to submit. Oh, yeah, the open slot, Fear can work if you come up with nothing else. But the other ones, I think RE7 is probably the strongest. And then Return of the King and Condemned are about equal. And then, uh, Deadly Prem, I always like, just long. Fun, but long. Yeah, you got the fire extension. Cool. Why do you let her run there? He's afraid of the power that we have. This power. That's why Erna, she... Scissor Man doesn't know that we can shoot lightning out of our hands. As a Mampa. This bouncing is amazingly silly, and that's why I love it. Hooray, I got the proper RNG. Oh, also, wait, am I going to get the cutscene? Am I going to get the cutscene? I did. Okay, I'm on the good seed. <laughs> Look at it. Look at him go. By the way, the greatest moment in all of horror ever made. Watch. Kill. 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 Windows 95 is the deadliest operating system. They're not hedge clippers. They're scissors, Rakaras. They're scissors. difference. Alright, this should be good now, I think. I think I'm on the good seed. They're not hedge clippers, they're scissors. Right back here. Weird enough, there is actually a distinction. The blade. Hedge clippers have big handles. Scissors have big blade. I mean, there's not really an, uh, an occasion for scissors that big in most cases. And that's actually, that, that is straight up the difference. Scissors are um, big blades, hedge clippers are big handles. So, yeah. That is the actual difference. 
And I guess intent. Okay, this should be good for the intro, at least. Well, it's funny that the objects don't bounce with you, I think. I think the stationary objects makes it even greater. I enjoy it, at least. But yeah, honestly, I don't think Fear 2 would be the worst. Like, worst case scenario, I think what would happen is, for me, during Haunting Ground, I was warned, don't die. And don't mention the game's plot, essentially. For the most part. Like, they wanted to avoid the darker area of Haunting Ground. And knowing, because I looked up the Fear 2 ending, and... Knowing the Fear 2 ending, I'm assuming you might be able to do something similar. So it definitely could work. I mean, Erna, they don't want Haunting Ground's Coomer plot involved. What you just walked into? This is Buyo Buyo mode, Midikai. Buyo. It's bouncing. But in Japanese. And it's a native mode that this game has. This isn't modded, this is an actual game selection. I know what you're thinking. Am I modding the game? No. This is natural. What? Can I explain the plot? Yeah, well, I'll explain it on Monday when I play Haunting Man again. For right now, I'll focus on this game. Mainly because I explain it like every week. <laughs> Main thing is bad shit happens. That's that's haunting ground in a nutshell. My focus today is Clock Tower. Alright, that's good right there. This game's slot's pretty fun. It's a whodunit, kinda like the movie Scream. Who is the scissor man? Who came back after a year? That's why this game is fun. But yeah, essentially though, they didn't want me focusing on that part of Clock Tower's story. Which, you know the part. There we go. Okay, if I don't get jump scared, this is good. I got jump scared, you're kidding me. Why did I get jump scared? What the fuck? Well, I guess that works. Okay, cool, I'll take it. I'm getting time loss, but it's not the end of the world. Time to die. Please run back into the room. Thank you. They are fists. They are like that. Yeah, it's, so it's weird what jump scares happen and which jump scares don't happen. Weird. Guess not the end of the world, though. Like, as long as I don't get the... Actually, regardless of what happens, I should be good. Because I have, like, literally minutes of time saved at the end of the game. Well, yeah, they'd be bouncing, but she's not bouncing. She's more than fine. So bad RNG loses you, like, a minute. I'm thinking maybe it is straight up actually the Buyo Buyo that's doing it. Because <laughs> that could be the case. Hmm. Make the ending not the ending? I mean, ideally as well, you could always just, like, um, pause the game or something, or just skip the ending and then do all the... Hi, I'm Maxi. If you like the stream, shoot me a follow on twitch.tv slash maxilobes during the, the main menu portion. They're usually pretty good about it as long as you don't show the uh, signs that you're ending your dialogue early. And yeah, WP Ninja, this is a setting in the Japanese version of the game called Buyo Buyo Mode, which means bouncing. It's funny. We get to bounce. So it's quite nice. I think this run should be good. Keyword should. Should be good. I whip up. There we go. Hell, I gotta think of my last game, though. You know, let's start looking. Let's start looking at my games. Let's see what I got. Okay, what would be a good game to work on? 
I'm gonna look at all my games and think what would be nice. I don't think Juon's gonna be very good, although I could submit it. I don't think Sonho One's getting in. Lifeline has a chance, but I feel like it's too long. I feel like Lifeline's too long. I don't think I have no mouth and no my screaming gets in. If it does, it's not gonna be me. The crow will be A G D Q. I'm already spinning spookies. Sonho Two could be nice. No. Saw two won't be really good, I don't think. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to make it the VOD for Harvester, you're right. I need to make that. Uh, Dead Rising is already on my submissions. Uh, Amy would already got in years ago. The Mummy got in, Alone the Dark got in. Murder House, I don't think is amazing. I think it's fine, but it's not amazing. Remothered, I mean, I feel like Remothered has a better chance than it has. Or I feel like Remothered has one glaring issue, though. And it's not the one you think. Uh, the Evil Within, one, I'm not the runner, and two, would be too long. The Darkness, two, I don't think would be me. That's getting submitted again, though, at least. Sound of the Arcade, I don't think they would let me, because it's emulator. Onimusha, it would not be me if I'm the one doing it. The Inunaki Tunnel, nah. A lot of the chillest games are Walking Sims, probably won't work. Sound of the Room, it wouldn't be me. Although, I got a 56. I'm gonna get a 56. I'm not really seeing any game I feel like I feel proud to submit right now. At least to my knowledge. That's the thing. I guess Dead Rising 4 isn't horrible, but... Eh, I'd rather not. Yeah, looking through all my games, not really one I feel like is the best thing for a submission right now. Maybe Sweet Home. Like, I could polish up my Sweet Home run. I consider the Scooby-Doo games horror Jason. I do, but I'm not playing them. It's always a fair comeback to that question. I'm not playing it, but I do. Damn, my Night Before Christmas Oogie's time got bopped. Are too long games problem for GDQ? Kind of. If your game gets too long, you have to wonder, what is the thing pulling that game? What is the thing that makes the game worth it? Think what normally gets longer runs. Normally, it's big IPs and major titles. If you have a weird game that's kind of like, you know, five hours, you might have some issues with that. Mainly because, think what they can use that five hours for. A good example could be, I don't know, San Andreas. They can use the five hours for Final Fantasy. They can use it for Chrono Trigger. And they can use it for something really, really big. So if you try submitting something weird that's three hours, or something not as notable, you run into the issue of why should they give you the three hour slot when another run by that it technically would do better can have that slot. So a good example of horror games that have been long in the past. Uh, Alien Isolation and The Last of Us. Horror's been getting a lot more love lately, so I think games that can happen, but we're gonna have to see what works. I remember that category. Also, yes, the dog is bouncing. So usually the sweet spot you want is anywhere from like 30 minutes to 2 hours. Within that, you're, you're nice, you're nice. Like 30 minutes to 2 hours, that's the sweet spot. Too much more can get kind of weird. Uh, it can still be nice, but it can just be a little bit weird if you're not uh, always on the ball. And then too little, I'm not going to lie. Having a run too short means people will not actually be able to resonate with you well enough. Unless you really like, kick it out of the park or something. I see short runs very often. It's like, hey, this is cool. And then I don't remember much more than it being cool. Very often, runners don't get to show the personality if it's too short. Often, I should say. Not always, but often. Anything views? It's not even thinking views. It just... For a charity marathon, your goal is to raise money for charity. And if you're having a slot that's dedicated to a five-hour, like, obscure title, it might get a, bit, a little bit weirder in the marathon timing. And you can have something like Final Fantasy do the same thing, or Pokemon. But Macro Blue, the dog killed him. It's a brutal doggy. Oh, I say this is a horror runner, too. Like, I, I'm in the horror community. I know horror games very well. Horror only recently has been getting the love that we, uh, that we like. Horror is very recently getting love here. For a while, we weren't getting the love chat.
It is a very recent development. I'm happy for it, but yeah. Who knows, though? I would like to see something like, uh, because I know Max is not about submitting Deadly Premonition. I like Deadly Premonition of all the longer games, at least one of the more arguably odd ones. Like, I feel like Deadly Prem has a chance, but I don't feel like Alan Wake has a chance, if it makes sense. Like, Alan Wake is like three hours and, or two and a half hours, but it has the issue of that one. Exclamation mark Buyo. It is a, it is a setting. Please work. Oh my god, it actually worked. So did RNG, god damn it. it. It's just been RNG this whole time, you're fucking kidding me. This game sucks. Boo this game, chat. Boo! Boo this game! More like boo yo! So. Yes. I'm saving a lot of time right now. This is nice. I'm not getting world record or anything, but this will probably be a nice PB. Oh, now I'm kind of wondering why the Helen Rot does this. Hey, that was a great one. That one was absolutely great. But, like, looking at the past, though. How do we slump sooner than Umbrella? It's his weakness. Blunt's force trauma. Alright, a little slower. I gotta ask you a question. If you got hit with an Umbrella from the shadows, would you be stunned? Not dead or anything, just stunned. If someone hit you, a grown man, full force, police chief, hit you with an umbrella on a sneak attack, sucker punched, would you be standing? If you answer yes, that is absolute bullshit. Either that or you should, like, become the next Houdini or some shit. There. Yeah. Depends on where the... Well, you know, an umbrella? Depends on where it lands? Likely right on your spine, and it's a sneak attack. Like, it's getting your back, most likely. Depends on the umbrella? This one's pretty sturdy from the... T uh, look, it didn't break. Probably a sturdy umbrella. Also, yay, we're back on time save. <laughs> Yay, I just saved a minute, because this game hates me. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we're back on pace. I'm just saying, if, like, I feel like with that one, yeah, you're, like, you're gonna be stunned. Like, sure, you might be able to get up later, but, like, you're going to be stunned, at least for a little bit. Like, from the way it looks like, it's a solid umbrella, it doesn't break, and it hits him in the spine. And it's element of surprise. I think, I, I'm pretty sure most people in chat here would go down. I can't imagine anyone tanking that hit. Like, it's not like it's like a random person doing it. Like, if it was Helen doing it, I get that. Like, may maybe Helen can't hit the hardest, but it's Gots. Look at Gots. He's a big boy. He's a big dude. What do you enter on? This is Buyo Buyo. Exclamation mark Buyo. I would go down. Like, I know I would. Chief of Police hits me in the back with a metal umbrella. I'm going down. At least for, I could get up, don't be wrong. But, yeah, I'm going down. Did that boy dirty? Well, I mean, he also got shot with a gun. Actually, that's a better part. Can you tank a hit with Umbrella after getting shot five times? That's actually the better question. <laughs> Could you tank an Umbrella after getting shot five times? I forgot all about that part. Because Gots also shot the Scissor Man five times before doing that. So not only did he use an Umbrella, he also shot him. Five times. This many. Watch. Count them. Five. Sounds pretty easy. I don't know, man. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound easy to me. I was gonna give me a default. No, no, no. So this is an extra option. 
Uh, it is a, an exclusive, like, uh, meme setting for the Japanese uh, game. It's native to the game, though. This isn't a mod. This is an actual hardware. This is, like, straight up um, the actual disc. So this is the actual game. It is the actual Japanese copy of the game. So it's not like this game is like uh, me modding it. This isn't a mod. This is native, which I think is really cool. Honestly, I think Deadly Prem is at least interesting. Like Deadly Prem as well. I know that run. It's interesting. It has the fun. You get to experience all the fun. Like my example, of, like a bad long game is Alan Wake. Like Alan Wake is what I kind of see as a bad long one. Alan Wake American Nightmare could be interesting because it doesn't overstay its welcome. But Alan Wake like base is like two and a half hours. If, some, if I'm someone that can tank five shots, you can tank an umbrella. Well, I mean, what if you're resistant? Oh no, no, Ed Roach, think about it. Think about it. You, you're, you're, you know how like you ever play Warcraft three? That was in Santa. I've been doing good. Like in Warcraft three, there's different armor types. You might be resistant to like magic damage, but you're not resistant to blunt force trauma. That's the difference here. Scissorman specked in bullets. He didn't spec in umbrella. I want to try American Nightmare. I saw Tali playing it the other day. It seems fun. We got all Pokemon here? Kind of. You see, Sister Man's weakness isn't bullets. It's umbrellas and blankets. By the way, Chad, I didn't even show you the fun part. At least the umbrella is believable. You know that the you can throw a blanket on the Scissor Man and he'll, like, have a seizure or something? I, I don't know. He just kind of panics. And then you're able to escape him with a blanket. Yes, a blanket. Like, just straight up a blanket. Like, I don't know why he's weak to blankets, but he is. Also, this game is also kind of weird where I should describe it, but um, there's two. Which is more fun, giraffe mode or bounce? I like bounce mode more, but giraffe mode's silly, I think. Also, god, this box art's, this box art's fucking amazing. Cuddles destroy evil, exactly. If someone threw a blanket on you, you would panic. Probably have sexual trauma. You know, you're a bit more on the money than you uh, want to give you credit for. With this game. This game's plot is fucked up by all degrees, but still. It's not a bad game, it's definitely a fucked up game. However, I'm not going to get into those plot points, because it makes sense for me, too. I do that during my full series marathons. It involves an umbrella and a blanket. Well, no, you, know, you can use a lot of different objects. You can use, like, a chair, too. Look at the bounce. Bounce! Is this man lore? I mean, the lore in this game is kind of messed up. I've talked about it before. Ghost has stories a lot easier, just zombies. That's it. Some guy is jealous of another guy, so it's zombies. Community challenge. 25% complete. I don't know if we're gonna complete this shit, actually. I don't know if chat, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this one done. I guess it refunds the points if it does it, so no worries. What other mode do they have in this game other than bounce? Really just bounce mode. You can have alt costumes, but it's mainly just bouncing. They are crazy, Jeff, they are. Chat, will you raise the boost for the stream? I will cry. Or something like that. Wait, yeah, Colossus 3 has sexual undertones. So that game's a bit more meant to. Also, that's because of Capcom. So, yeah. Hey, it's a mighty strong umbrella. What can we say? It's a mighty strong umbrella. How's it going? Going good, Remy the Siren. Have you seen Buyo Buyo mode? It's silly and it's bouncing. Look at him go. Hey, this game came out like the same year as the original Resident Evil. And the original Clock Tower came out before the before. So it's... This predates Resident Evil. The true original survival horror. This came out the same year as Mario 64 too, I should mention this. Guys, we had this discussion earlier. I think you're thinking of Big Boo's Haunt. Also, more importantly, I don't think you guys know exactly how strong Gots is. Well, I'm there, Doc Hauser? Well, true, but then I'll raise his sweet home. I 
I only mention that, by the way, because everyone always says that Resident Evil is the original survival horror. Technically, it's Sweet Home. There we go, we got what we need. But yeah, it's a fun game, Remy. The original clock tower is pretty nice. I play in Japanese because it's faster for the tech speed and the loads. Gaunt is a massive himbo, dude, and he will fuck you up. Absolutely. Also true. They are a gothic angel. They're bouncing. They're bouncing in a way, in fact. Also, one of my favorite parts is coming up. At least for this one. You're about to see it. Just, just watch. <gasps> Who could it be? It's... Harris, bouncing on the scene. Also, if you're wondering why the dialogue's messed up, it's because I turn on fast disk speed and it messes with the dialogue. I just love the bouncing. I have been streaming six and a half hours of bouncing. Just... On PS2? Yeah, I'm on PS2. But it's a, that's a PS1 game. It's nice. You see, you're talking about nacho cheese, now I'm getting hungry again. Not gonna lie, the fast wasn't all that bad for me. I've been fasting today because I want to eat big tomorrow, or like big ish. So, uh, it's been a good fast. It's not been bad, chat. It's not been a bad fast. I might do this once a week. Because I was talking with Enigma about it, and he was like, oh, hey, yeah, I try fasting. And I was like, I'm down. Because I was talking about how I wanted to eat big for the uh, Super Bowl. Also, here's my favorite part. Just watch this. I wonder who's behind the wine cellar <laughs> poking his little head out. They're bouncing because it's a mode called Buyo Buyo Mood. Buyo Buyo, Buyo Mode. How are you doing, by the way, Soja? Also, our buddy Tim here is tripping. He's tripping. He's not having a good time in this corner. What the? Oh, I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm drinking a lot of water today. Like, I've noticed I'm, like, way thirstier than I normally am. Like, normally I'll have, like, maybe one thing of my sneak thing, one thing of my regular bottle, and then, like, one more sneak bottle. Like, I've already killed all my bottles, and I want more. Like, during the credits, I'm probably going to grab more water. Exactly. It's like, I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure why they added it just to this game, too. Cause, like, balance mode doesn't exist in any of the other Clock Tower games. Poor Beth. So I gotta make sure I drink plenty of water. No I'm also debating on taking tomorrow off and just doing SCP like later next week. Just because I need to wake up early on Monday and I'm worried about that. Exactly. I've been drinking a lot of water today. Like, a lot. Like just water or caffeine. Beth, you can't bounce with me. You have to bounce in here alone. It's great. Beth is not allowed to bounce with us. We're not friends with Beth. Tell her to go away, Chad. Also, if you're wondering why the bouncing is even better... Wait, did I tell her to sit down? I did tell her to sit down. Okay, she's she's staying. I hope she's staying. If she follows me, I killed the whole run. I have to do this shit again. Nope, we're good. Okay, we're good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. No, Beth's okay. She can just stay there. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what I did last time, but it broke, like, the game. And I'm not sure why. I guess, like, I just have to talk to the other thing first. Mm. 
Because there's like a particular order you have to do these things in, and it kind of sucks. And the main reason why is this one right here. If you don't know that the flashlight doesn't work. There we go, we got it. You can lose. Let's see if we can meet the points, though. Oh, tell me I don't stream tomorrow, we're not going to meet that points. I know we're not. Eh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. At least that routing is much better, from what I can tell. And this routing is much, much nicer. Alright, don't anything there. As well, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but uh, Helen's route is a lot more um, specific. Like, in Jennifer's, you have a lot of leeway in what you can do. And there's not nearly as many mess-ups. In Helen's route, like, it's very easy to fuck everything up, and that's kind of the downside. Fun game, but just really easy to mess up the route. Also, look, it's... It's a mummy. Who is it? It's... Nolan! He found a nice place to sleep, and now he's tripping balls, man. He's bouncing on in this coffin. How long has he been bouncing in this coffin is the real question. How long? Also, god damn, dude, the bots are on action today. I can't tell you how many bots you've seen today. Nightcry will remember this. Well, this was directed by the same guy that did Nightcry. Like, not even kidding. Did I do any Dino Crisis? I did Dino Crisis 1, like, many, many moons ago, but I haven't done it since. Alright, let's see if I just got... I think, I think I picked it up. Yeah, I got it. Cool, we're good. Alright, this isn't bad. This ain't bad at all. We're doing really good right now. I'm gonna need the book. Share some things are referenced directly. Right? All the bouncing and such. That's what Nightcrawler is all about, man. Bouncing. Dino Crisis is definitely a fun game. Definitely an interesting run. How's it going, Kamizu? Hope you have a nice day today. Hope you're doing well. I think we're finally going to get a decent time. I think this is going to be like a 54. At least it should be a 54, roughly. 54 is not bad. Like, I'll take a 54, you know? Yes, Buyo Buyo. Like, learning about Buyo Buyo made me so happy. I was like, I really want to do this. It seems like so much fun. So I was very into the idea of Buyo Buyo. So I'm happy somebody knows that Buyo Buyo. But you probably know it from uh, RTN Japan or uh, even Abatake. My least favorite puzzle in the game is this book. For some reason, Helen doesn't understand. Putting a book in a bookshelf seems like a smart idea. Does Boo Boo only make them bounce? Like, what do you mean? It makes all people bounce. Alright. What? Does it do anything else? Nope, just makes them bounce. Just bouncing. Okay. Wet or dry? Wet. Dry. By the way, before anyone asks, yes, I know that one was dry once I have their drill done. Weirdly enough, uh, the big issue becomes that if you try going into the dry hole without testing it, you die. It doesn't matter if you're right or not. It would be fun, but you have to enjoy the clock tower music. Also, God, I love the way they climb ladders. Just look at their ladder climb. It's great. Like, just... She really likes climbing the ladder. 
All right, the ladder bouncing, they're going maximum speed on that. It's great. Maximum speed of ladders. And Gots has decided to bounce in the skeleton room for some reason. What about the others? The they skeleton the room. Can you imagine living in the skeleton room? Just bouncing in a room filled with skeletons. What do you plan to do now? I'm going to look around the mansion some more. I believe it. I'll do it. I'm not gonna lie. I'll try it out. You better take this to you then. It might come in handy. The gun? Are you sure? I, I think I would give it a shot if I had to. Uh, you put me in a room, made me pick. This seems like one of the better rooms to be in. Not the worst room. Hooray, we got the gun. I'm a true American hero. Although I'm going to be using the flashlight instead. Oh, I need the box. Oh, not the flashlight, the box. The box, chat. The box. Wait, can I get the dead children yet? I don't think I've gotten them yet, right? There they are. There's the dead children. God, I love how fast the song goes. And then they're just standing there for an awkward amount of time. <laughs> well, the ghosts are dead. Only living things bounce. Dead things do not bounce. Ghosts are dead. That is the rule. Only living things get to bounce. So dead children are not living, they are dead. That is the meaning of dead children, in fact. Non-living, dead, D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Honestly, I'm kind of interested to see, going back on the topic of GDQ stuff, given I want to try for GDQ, I'm wondering what, like, what some missions are gonna happen. And it's been good, Ace Case, it's been good. Can you still bounce? Yeah. You can still bounce. All right, nice. Okay, let's go. We got a little key, see? Also, the flashlight's one of those items that if you don't, if you don't have it, you're SOL. Which kind of sucks. Like, you can just generally forget to use the flashlight. And I was like, oh well. But since we got it, we're all good to go. I wonder why the devs is like, because they're weird devs. They like the silly stuff. And the sillier things in life. They're quite fun. Also, I mentioned this earlier, but Helen is a true American hero. A true American, in fact. She knows. Just watch. See? She uses gun. A true American hero. Also, this is probably the my favorite part of Helen's route. Just just enjoy. This is the sole reason why I would want to run Helen often. Just Jennifer bouncing on a cross. <laughs> and then this action scene right here. Look at Helen the badass. Just bouncing while aiming a gun. Maybe she'll have a better time shooting the gun if she wasn't bouncing. <laughs> Just maybe. Thank God you're alive. That's how if she wasn't bouncing, she'd be a little bit better off. Let's see, Jennifer's alive. You can tell because she's bouncing. Apparently, Rand, apparently... Helen just wants to land the best trick shots. While bouncing. Brogan made the joke earlier, but that's me after a night, good night of drinking. Just Jennifer laying down on the bed, just... Head pulsing. <laughs> can't, can't go to bed. Head pulsing, having a bad time. 
me after a bad night of drinking. Poor Jennifer. Professor Barton? Why did you? Helen, do you remember the first time you came into my class? I'm God, I'm feeling hungry now. I feel in my stomach, chat. I need to eat food. I shouldn't. I need food tomorrow. I just gotta wait. No, it can't be. How do I stave hunger? Should I just look at pictures of food? That sounds like a good idea, right? Also, I've genuinely almost spent the entire day playing this game. I'm kind of surprised. Coffee? You need more sneak. But the problem is, I have to go to bed early-ish. Because I might train tomorrow, I'm not too sure. They're not garden shears. I mentioned this earlier. Hedge clippers have small, uh, big handles. Scissors have big blades. There are scissors. Chew gum? I don't have any gum. Poor Barton. He's just dying. Am I ending soon? What, today? No, I'm going for at least another hour and a half, hour 20 maybe. We'll see. Depends on what you want to do. I think afterward, I might try to go for the ghost head meme world record. I have time for that. I need the... See, now we're all bouncing in friendliness again. I shot the scissor man, and now we're all happy. Not the real scissor man, the fake scissor man. So now they're all bouncing in unison. I see, Jennifer's okay. She got up. I'm glad they all found their way here. God, my room is warm, though. See, that's the problem. My room is warm. If my room is cool, I'd be nicer. I think I don't think it's my room. I think it's the combination of my computer and me not having my window open. Usually I have my window open, but I don't want to do it tonight just because uh, I don't want to annoy the neighbors. I don't want to be too loud. One more. Good job, Helen. So, world record is a 5304, I think, and I'm probably gonna get like a 55 or 54. We'll see. One of the two. We're near the end, so that's nice. I'm definitely saving like a whole ass minute. So, this run's definitely better and kind of more what I want. Although, I guess I want a perfect run. I need to get a good intro along with everything else. And I have no idea how to get everything. In theory, if I got a good, like, early game and mid game, I can totally get world record, even. With, like, mediocre RNG here. No, I'm not eating nachos. That's food. Oh, you're saying for you. Uh, oh, go, go with it. Ooh, good question. First one, then the other. First have it separate, and then together. Can you run? Thank you. You mix? I start with one, and then go both. All right, almost done. That could be good. Some mix, some separate. All right. Almost there. But hold on. I don't trust the opening to this. I feel like I'm in the wrong spot. Maybe? I don't think I am. This should be the right spot. Should be. Yeah, there we go. Jesus Christ, dude, there's so many bots tonight. And God, Helen is going wild on the ladder. You know what's been good tonight, though, chat? There's a lot of bots tonight, but my internet didn't drop once. I have no idea what the fuck's been happening. Like, for once, my internet was perfect. All right, almost done. Time for the bouncing to commence. How's it going, Angel's Wings? Hope you're doing good. That's Pog. I'm gonna get a 54. It's not a 54, right? Don't jinx it. I mean, I'm on the back half of the stream at this point. I'm gonna drop. I could just end earlier. I usually worry about the earlier half of the stream. Like near the ending, though, it's like, all right, that's fine.
Alright, almost done. Wait, no! No, I'm getting 55! 5501. Boo, I say. Boo! Boo! Good shit, fam. Good shit. Puyo? No, but yes. Enjoy the ending. I like how she's bouncing and like falling away. What's <laughs> inside here? That'd be explanatory note. Also, Gots is lining up a shot. Even in death, he's doing trick shots. Fucking Gots, man. That's a really cool book. Lock Tower. This made the game funny. God, she was just vibing on that right there. Best Timbo, exactly. And that's Clock Tower. You know, something hilarious? What is it? I'm curious though, what time did Pa get? And did she do it on a Japanese PS2 oh, or uh, America? Well, it looks like we're probably she did hers in North America. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Six forever to shoot. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying. Hey, there's someone in here. Jennifer. That would be pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Or you can always just put it in like a video software, technically. Unless you mean like in game. Also, there's Jennifer. She lived. He did it. That would be funny. I think that'll be better in a casual setting. I wish I knew how to do that. I don't know how. Also, time for like a fucking minute long, or no, like a five minute ending or some shit, because I need to show off how many of the survivors lived. So, all right, here's my plan. Here's my plan. I need to go piss. When we get back, how about we go over to Ghost Head, and we're going to do the meme ending, and we'll do that for the rest of the stream, because I've never actually done this one. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the music here. That being said, I'm going to stand up and pee, so these are just credits. That's it. I'm going to be right back very quick, chat. If you've been enjoying the stream, feel free to follow me on Twitch. It is much appreciated. It does support the stream. And it's free. Also, feel free to shoot me a follow on Twitter and join Discord. It's all fun stuff. Thank you for the host as well, Angels and Wings. I'm going to do some research on ending M. I want to try beating, uh, let's try beating Kyo's time. That'll be a fun meme. Let's see, ending M. How many runners are there? There's a lot of runners. I could do ending A. Dude, I'm going to do ending A. I'm going to do ending A. I'm going to do both. Either right now I need a pee. Let me just go do that. I'll be right back, really quick chat. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And I'll play a brief ad or two while I go pee. Sound good? Be right back, and then we'll be doing Ghost Head. Enjoy the ad. Enjoy the ads and the credits. It's just credits. There's nothing major here. Grab a drink. Stand up. Touch your toes. It's just credits. It's like five minutes. Because this is long and I have to do it. Be right back. Yeah, let's do... Let's do that one. See? It's long.
Perfect timing. Literally perfect timing. Told you. Look at that. Perfect goddamn.